what makes up the spine, what, what's in the spine, how does it work. So we have different parts to our spine. We would have what's called our neck or our cervical spine. We would have what, what we call our thoracic spine or our mid-back, our upper back. We would then have our lumbar spine or our low back. And then we would have what's called our tailbone or what we call your sacrum. So those C curves all need to be in alignment with each other so that they create this pole that's straight up and down. But if something changes the curve in your spine, let's say an injury, you were carrying bags of mulch or you were bending over to pick up something off the floor or tie your shoes or whatever it might be. If something causes an injury to your spine that changes the curve of your spine, then it's changed the alignment of how the vertebrae sit on each other. In response to that, muscles are gonna get very tight. So what will typically happen when you injure your spine or when you're having a neck or a back issue or a spine problem, those muscles in that area will start to get tight. Now, they can get tight and they can stay that way for a period of time. It can come and go. It can come on, be there for 24 hours and go away and not come back for a couple of months. But generally, it will start to present itself as an ache, a soreness, a pain, a stiffness, a tightness in a particular area. And it's usually localized to one spot. Now as that problem progresses and the, the muscle continues to be tight and it changes the alignment of the vertebrae and starts to shift things a little bit, you'll still be looking like you're standing up straight, but that shift in position eventually starts to put abnormal stress and pressure onto the disc and or pressure onto the nerve. But that's what over time can start to cause this breakdown of a disc. It can happen very quickly or it can happen over time, but that's where disc problems start to come in. A herniated disc, a slip disc, a bulging disc, whatever word you want to use. And that's coming from the fact that over time, that curve wasn't the way that it was supposed to be, the alignment wasn't the way that it was supposed to be, and vertebrae began to shift and create abnormal wear and tear and pressure on that nerve and on that disc. So what you'll start to get is instead of the pain being localized to a specific area, it starts to become a lot more broad at that point. If you get some pressure onto a nerve, like you see here, you can actually start to get some symptoms down into your leg or down into your arm that are following the line that that nerve travels out and then down into your arm or down into your leg. If it gets really bad, you can start to have some organ problems, some organ failure as well. You need to work with an expert manual physical therapist, and there's a difference between a physical therapist and a manual physical therapist. A manual physical therapist is going to, number one, bring that spine back into alignment the way that it should be. Number two, it's gonna get that, that manual physical therapist is gonna be able to get that curve back in the spine. Both of those steps are very integral in making sure that those muscles that have gotten so tightened, so guarded, again, whether it's for a couple of days, a couple of weeks, a couple of months, a couple of years, that those muscles that have gotten so tight and so guarded go back into their normal state, go back to being able to hold the curve the way that it should, keep the vertebrae aligned the way that they should, so that whatever was beginning or had happened to that disc gets a chance to heal, so that whatever was happening to the nerve gets a chance to heal. Number one, you'll notice that your symptoms start to go down, but more importantly, it's that realignment and readjustment of the curve that allows things to fully heal and get your problem taken care of once and for all. So if you're having any problems in your spine, whether it's a neck problem, again, something, the curve was lost, something shifts, now you've got a change in the position, you've got abnormal stress and, and pressure, you could just be having very localized symptoms, you could be having very broad, very widespread symptoms, you could be at this point now getting some pressure onto that nerve and some symptoms down your arm. The manual physical therapist is going to be able to make sure that we bring that spine back into alignment, get the curve back into that spine, get the pressure off of that nerve so that everything gets a chance to heal and now make sure that that problem is taken care of. So if you're having any problems, whether it's problems with mobility, problems with doing things during the day like bending over to tie your shoes, to reach up into a cabinet, to turn your head, etc. And again, it can be simple things like stiffness, ache, pain, or soreness, or it can be much more complicated problems like, like sharp pain, burning, numbness, tingling, etc. Any of those are because some portion of your spine is not in its proper curve, its proper alignment, and the muscles that are alongside of it aren't doing what they're supposed to do. And that's where the expert physical therapists at Loudon Sports Therapy Center come in, Give us a call, let's get you in here, let's get it taken care of, let's get your spine back into its optimal position, whether you're 15 years old or 95 years old or somewhere in between, and get you feeling healthy, feeling happy, being pain-free, and being able to do the things you want to do.